Hey, what's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host Terry. Welcome to the channel by the dip. All right guys, and in today's video, man, I got something really cool and exciting for you about LCA. And I've kind of put together a little timeline of when this should happen. And I'm gonna get in here to explain to you why I think it should be happening very soon. And hopefully at the end of this video, you guys will see my point. And if you found this video helpful, smash that thumbs up, join the thumbs up nation. Really appreciate it guys, really helps out the channel and the algorithm. So all right guys, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna talk about LCA. When are they gonna to change to GNOB? So if we go here to the SEC filings, as you saw from my other video on LCA, we haven't had no additional filings on LCA since September 22nd. So there hasn't been nothing here. And if you look here, under the last couple of things that was posted on the 22nd, we have here that there is an additional definitive proxy soliciting materials in rule 14A and 12 material. And then it has their account number. And you know, then we have current report items 1.01 and 9.0. So I'm thinking like, Man, what can I do to help figure out when is LCA going to become GNOG? So I went to a stock that recently went through a change in the ticker symbol. So I went to Holion and I went on the SEC, typed in Shell. Now, if you guys know, as you can see here, Shell became Holion on October the 5th. And as you can see here, look at all of these postings here, guys. Look at all these. It's probably like 15 to 20 postings on the 5th. Now, the 5th was a Monday. Monday, October the 5th is when that changed. When you got on Robinhood, the ticker symbol changed to from Shell to H-Y-L-N Holion. So what we want to look at here is, before it changed on Monday the 5th, what was some of the stuff that we seen before that here under the SEC filing. So here we can see under the second, which was that Friday right before that, they had a notification filed by National Security Exchange to report the removal from listings and registration of matured. Redeem the retired securities account number. Now, we don't have that yet, but here's where we're getting into the meat and potatoes, guys, and I have some good news for you. This here has current report items, you know, blah, 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 numbers there. Okay, so back here then, on September the 28th. Now on my calendar, that was a Monday. Look at what's here and tell me if this don't look at the same as what's under LCA. Additional definitive proxy soliciting materials in rule 12A and 12 material. That was listed here a couple different times. They had a couple different filings on Monday, September 28th. And they had that here with the definitive proxy soliciting materials rule 14A, the 12, and if we go here under GNOG, that is exactly what is here on the 22nd. So they did this on September 22nd, which was the Tuesday before them. So they're a little bit behind what Holion was doing, but they have right here, additional definitive proxy soliciting materials in rule 12A and 12 materials. So that is what exactly was under Holion like a week before they changed because September 28th was a Monday and the following Monday of October 5th, they were officially officially highly on on Robinhood. So the next thing we want to see under the SEC filing for um, LCA is this one here. We want to see this notification filed by National Security Exchange to report the removal listing and registration of mature, redeemed and retired securities. So that is one of the first things we want to see because that was filed for Holion on October the 2nd, which was Friday. And literally Monday, as you can see, is when it went to Holion on Robinhood. So guys, I think we're close. I think we're really close. Now, as you can see, from the 28th to the 2nd was a week roughly five days now. We're a little past five days, we're almost two weeks in. 
but it has to be coming soon. Maybe there's just something holding up the paperwork. As you can see here, they have that proxy materials and rules on 14A and 12 material on the 22nd. So on the LCA right here. So I think we're getting really close, man. We're, re we're waiting on this one here. The notification filed by NASA Security Exchange. So we want to see this one next. And this took literally five days for Holion to go through. So something must be holding up LCA right now in order to get that switch. So, and as you can see here, if you go in to Robinhood and type shell, you don't get nothing. But you got to go H-Y-L-N to get Holion now. So we still got LCA, but no GNOG yet. So... Guys, I think we're getting close. I think we're within the next, has to be a couple of weeks, man. I don't know what's going on the back end. I ain't really heard nothing from anyone of what's going on. But I wanted to get in here and show you some evidence of what Hylion went through. Because, you know, they were Shell and now they're officially Hylion. And this is what their SEC filings looks like. So as you can see, now they still have stuff coming in even after all this stuff went through. But... The real stuff we wanted to see is what happened before the merger. So that's what I went over here in today's video with you. And we're kind of seeing that here under LCA. So I think it is really, really close for GNOG to be coming to us. Guys, what do you think, man? Comment down below if you think that we are getting close to... Oh, let me get this here. Do you think we're getting close to GNOG? I surely hope so, man. I am so ready for this thing to become GNOG. And then people's like, well... People had a good couple questions. I'm going to go over why I believe it's a big thing. Um, people's like, well, what's the big deal if they change their ticker symbol from LCA to GNOG? Like, is that going to be a big deal? Is it going to change anything? Well, technically, it's not going to change anything. But here's the thing. If you're new to the stock market and you don't follow stocks, and you're looking up and you type in LCA and it says Lancadia Holdings, I don't think anyone knows what... Lancadia Holdings is unless you do the research yourself but no one's just going to invest in LCA because no one knows what that is but if you are a new stockholder and you would see GNOG and you see that it says Golden Nugget Online Gaming well I think almost everybody in the world at least heard of Golden Nugget Casino in one way shape or form I don't even think you have to be like a gambler in a sense to know what Golden Nugget is. I think everyone knows what the Golden Nugget is as a casino. So I think people was like, oh, okay. Do I want to invest in the casino? Then they would go in and research a little bit more on what the online gaming part is if they didn't know what it was. So that's why I believe it's important for the um, ticker symbol to change because for new investors, they're not going to know what Lancadia Holdings is. And I mean, I wouldn't either if I didn't research it. What do I care what Lancadia Holdings is? But if I saw Golden Nugget, I'm like, oh, hey, that's a casino. Maybe I will invest in a casino. Let me do a little bit more research on it now. And so I think that is the big reasoning of why it's important for the ticker symbol to change. Just because of the name itself is more recognizable. So that's why I'm keeping up with this videos of me trying to help you guys and help myself here keep up to date on when this ticker symbol will change because I have um, 140 shares total of LCA slash GNOG. So, all right guys, like I said, man, if you found this video helpful, please smash the thumbs up for the thumbs up nation. So, all right guys, I will catch you in the next one. And remember, buy the dip.